Hi Libra, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. Um, apologies if you can hear the fan going. It is blisteringly hot here in the UK for the UK, not worldwide scale, just for the UK. Um, and I also have guinea pigs in this room um, that may drink their water or squeak. <clears throat> I don't have mice, I have guinea pigs. They're gorgeous. I'm also in my son's bedroom because um, <laughs> My kitchen's been refurbished, it should be finished by now, but it isn't. Um, and my tarot reading room has all my kitchen stuff waiting to go into my new kitchen that isn't finished. Because we've had the kitchen and the dining room done, so it's not even like everything's everywhere. My Half my kitchen is in my, di <laughs> in my lounge. It's very, very stressful, but it is what it is. As always, the housekeeping is down below. So let's see what we have for you this week, Libra. What do we have for Libra? We have the King of Pentacles, and this is a reminder that you are most likely in a place of abundance, but if not, you have the capability to make um, good, sound uh, financial decisions um, going forward for your, because Pentacles is all about our family and our home and our health, um, and you have capability and the wisdom to make sound decisions on this on in in these areas whether it's to do with family decisions where to invest finances where it's best to um, invest our resources in order to have a productive income uh, or not income as in finances necessarily but to bring abundance in material or physical abundance in it's about making good decisions with regards to the family um, but recognising that you cannot control everything. A king does not control everything directly. He does not micromanage. He macromanages. He sits here, sits above and goes, OK, um, we need we need some wheat to go to the village to be to prov to the bakers to make bread so that everybody can eat. So he will tell someone to go and communicate with the farmer to get the wheat to then um get someone to be on transportation to transport from the farm to the bakers all this to the mill sorry all the work the the wheat and then obviously the miller would do the flour and then that would need transporting again to the bakers meanwhile going to the dairy farm to go and get the milk for the butter or whatever's required for the bread and he he doesn't go and do the nitty gritty parts he just goes you need to organize bread production for me and somebody will do that work well then a lower manager would go and do that and deal with the, the middle managers and they're on in so he requests that something's done and he oversees and sees the bigger picture and goes oh that part isn't performing i will go and liaise with that section and go and get that part of the kingdom running so it's about recognizing that you cannot manage every little thing completely you but you can see the bigger picture and make good decisions um and make requests of people in order to bring that in so this may be that you need to for example have the kitchen made right <laughs> so you need to be the project manager you know what you want and you need to communicate with the people that you need to do the work you're going to need a carpenter to fit the fit the cupboards and the and on the, all the sideboards and flooring and and all that you're going to require an electrician to come in and rewire everything you're going to require a plumber to come in and replumb everything to make sure the gas line is where you need it to be and the water supply is where it needs to be um, and ensure that they're done safely as well that you i don't have experience in gas safety but somebody in that trade does so i i ask somebody in that trade to come and do use their experience and their knowledge and their minutiae their niche experience in order to provide an aspect of that project to to make that happen so it's about relinquishing direct control but in in a place that to a, a person that makes the right that has the experience in order to make an informed and experienced enough to make a professional judgment it's allowing people to use their profession their role their experience in order to complete a project or an aspect of a project so and it's also about recognizing that people need support in that role as well like well if you need any help let me know and i will get some help for you 
or oh could you make sure that you coordinate with the plumbers to make sure that the appliances are going in the right place and then you need to coordinate who goes in at what time to do what so this is about being the project manager overseeing everything making sure that everything is in balance because that's what you like to do right Libra I mean you'd like to have more control over it being balanced but overall you can trust your judgment enough to go I can put my trust in you that that project will be completed in that time and the fact that it's the pentacles means that maybe this is you employing somebody's services and remembering that you are the customer you are the one with the finances until you are happy with the project you don't have to make the full payment um it's a place of abundance and when we are in a place of abundance there's almost a privilege kind of aspect and people knee jerk oh no not priv i'm not privileged um but it's about recognizing that having a choice is a privilege and that if you have the resources and the environment in order to have choices like choosing how to decorate your room maybe you're not going to wallpaper it directly you will bring in a, a decorator to do the decoration or you will bring in a carpet fitter to fit the carpets in this project but you do have the choice they bring you the options and you have the option of choice so it's about recognizing that choice is a position of privilege and abundance um and, and celebrate and, and celebrating it maybe but re at least recognizing it and acknowledging it and being grateful for the opportunity of choice the opportunity to have an aspect of your home decorated or not do it whether it needs doing or not you're not looking at it going oh my god that that wall the plaster's falling off that wall and i have no way of, of fixing it you have the choice of Oh, that needs doing okay I'll get that fixed who am I going to use to do it who can I trust to do it being able to decorate a room is a privilege to be financially um, able to make choices of schools or environments that we live in um, I mean at the moment we're going through the process of trying to choose the next level the, the next level of education for one of our children we have the privilege of choice because of where we live um, because of the level um, that she's working at in, in, within her year group we can consider other options of school choices um, so it's about recognizing what choices we have and allowing to relinquish some of the control over the minutiae of those choices for example I can choose the school that my daughter goes to but I'm not actively going to be there teaching her I'm allowing I am trusting my choice based on the information I'm given to choose an environment for her learning and then I am trusting the experience and the professionalism of the people in that education facility to teach so yes there's an element of choosing who you do it you have the privilege of choice but it's the lack of direct control over the end result of, of actually doing the work to have control over that end result you do have the option to go that's not how I would like it please redo the work and again you have the privilege of that's not acceptable could you redo the work please so it's about recognizing what power you do have and where and when to apply it and what level it's about recognizing that and also inspiring that in other people as well because the king is also a leader right he also ensures that everything's protected he ensures that um, he guides people and encourages people and shows them that they can also achieve these things so by putting your trust remember that by putting your trust in that trace person remember to to remind them that although this is wrong look at how great these are it's about being having constructive criticism rather than just that's not right fix it it's this isn't I mean this is great what you've done here is amazing but this part of it isn't okay but I really appreciate the rest of it this is amazing could you just finish this and then it will be I will be happy with it so it's about looking at the way we communicate with with people um, and 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 inspiring them encouraging them because if you just go that's wrong with it they're just going to go oh, okay you only point out what's wrong they're going to think oh they're nitty pick they're nitpicking and 
um, there's no there's no constructive criticism it's just negative all the time it's just what's wrong all the time whereas if you remind them what they have done they will be more confident they will be more trusting of their skill and ex and they will perform better because they are encouraged and it will help them grow it's a learning do it as a learning experience rather than just a criticism of what's wrong and nit nitpicking so it's about using your position as the, the head of the pentacles in order to, to to help people grow as much as have them do something for you it's about recognizing the balance of encouragement and 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 trust i hope that is of some use to you um, hopefully I will see you again soon. Bye for now.